Knockoff is a reflection of the women's movement long term, not just from 20 years ago, but over time. And so for Ms. to step out and really um, be able to uh, think strategically about how to um, diversify their, their visibility, but in turn, really, it was an empower, empowerment agenda for uh, Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander women. So the fact that 20 years we're still here and going strong and we have these chapters all around the country um, is, is a realization of everything we wanted. is a woman of vision um, because she lives uh, many of the issues that exist in our community and I think that she embodies that on a personal level and then she brings it to her work and uh, she embodies that that wonderful message that Gloria Steinem always talks about the personal is political and and vice versa. Miriam is a woman of vision because she is just so incredibly thoughtful about the way that she sees our future. That's something underrepresented groups don't frankly get a lot of space or time to think about because I think we're constantly fighting, we're constantly in survival mode. And Miriam uh, is a visionary in that way. She's not only in the fight, but she is also very clearly and keenly aware of what it is that we are fighting for. At the heart of what NAPOF is about is making Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander women and girls visible. Our tagline is be seen, be heard, be fierce. Fundamentally being not being seen and fundamentally being invisible, it's shitty. Um, being, being invisible is a type of violence. It is a denial of someone's humanity. And, you know, I do this work today, now, because we're beautiful. Each and every one of us individually are beautiful. And that needs to be recognized and seen and to be brought into conversation and brought into um, the, the full fabric of this society and this country.